Welcome back to Newsmax Now. I'm John Bachman. Let's update you on a still developing story we first told you about yesterday here on Newsmax Now, and that was a fatal shootout in Jersey City, New Jersey, that left four people dead, including a police officer. Turns out that that facility where the shootout occurred was a Jewish deli, and police say the shooters specifically targeted that deli because it was a kosher Jewish facility. They also say one of the shooters posted anti-Jewish and anti-police messages on social media before the attack. Here's Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop. But after reviewing the CCTV cameras on the Jersey City side, we do feel comfortable that it was uh, a targeted uh, attack um, on the uh, Jewish kosher uh, deli across the street here. Um, we could see the van moving through Jersey City streets slowly. Um, the perpetrator stopped in front of there, calmly opened the door with two long rifles, him and uh, the other perpetrator. Back with us for more is uh, former New York City Police Commissioner Bernard Carrick and Bernie is... Uh, Excuse me, Bernie, having a little cough here, but the New York Post and Carl Higby's with us, too. We'll get to him in a second. But the New York Post ran an article on the heroism of your son, Detective Joseph Carrick. I saw you first tweeted out that he was OK yesterday. But then reading this article this morning when I woke up, I know you're a very proud dad and uh, heroism obviously doesn't fall far from the tree, Bernie. Well, listen, you know what? Uh, it's not a, this isn't only about my son. Uh, he was with two detectives uh, that uh, the three of them actually shot and killed these two guys, uh, the two suspects. But um, even prior to this, the response by the Jersey City Police Department was phenomenal. There were two foot cops um, that first confronted the suspects and it had it had it not been for them. There's no uh, there's no telling uh, how, how much death and destruction um, could have been waged uh, as, as a result. Um, Joe did respond with two detectives from Jersey City that uh, all three of them work in a federal task force in Newark. Um, they hopped in a Bearcat, an armored vehicle, uh, approached the doorway where the two suspects were, rammed the door, um, suspects came out, guns drawn, and when they did, uh, my son and the two, uh, two other detectives opened fire. Um, and, th and these, uh, the two suspects were killed. Um, we lost a really good cop in Jersey City, uh, a kid named Joseph Seals, a detective, a 15 year veteran, phenomenal cop. Uh, from what I hear, I met dozens of cops last night at the hospital that knew him, um, took a lot of guns off the streets, uh, worried about the communities, uh, his community. And, and this guy had five young children. Mm -hmm. Um, which is, is going to make for a devastating Christmas, a devastating life for these kids. Um, so I urge uh, everybody, anybody watching the show tonight, uh, uh, find the Jersey City Police o Benevolent Association, Police Officers Benevolent Association, and if you can, make a donation to the GoFundMe page uh, for this cop and his family. Uh, they're going to need all the support they can get. Uh, excellent. And we want to make sure that you reference that, Bernie, the, the, the legitimate sources where people can go to donate. I mean, it, it's just heartbreaking to hear about Detective Seals, the five children he's leaving behind, a wife as well. Uh, another site, too, you mentioned earlier is brothersbeforeothers.org. They have a um, GoFundMe account up as well. So the Jersey City Police Benevolent Association and brothersbeforeothers.org. All right. So let's uh, mention that, of course, and let's focus on this uh, shooting incident a little bit. You know, Bernie, one of the things I think that's frustrating to people who don't understand law enforcement is you hear the mayor of Jersey say this was a targeted attack on a kosher deli, but yet we're still waiting to find out if it's a hate attack or what the real motive was here. Tell us about, you know, why police officers have to be careful in these types of investigations uh, proceeding with those certain terms. Well, listen, you want to make sure things are accurate. You don't want to put things out that are inaccurate, that lead people to believe things that aren't true. Um, the investigations take time. Uh, I understand that there's been a series of search warrants that's been executed since last night uh, through today. Uh, they found some weapons and explosives, to my understanding. They're still looking at it and looking at targeting. What exactly was the target? Was it the uh, was it the supermarket, the kosher supermarket um, store, or was it a school down the street or across the street? Um, regardless, it, it, at this point, we have all time, all the time in the world. The suspects are dead, um, and uh, as long as there aren't any other accomplices uh, that we know of, uh, we can conduct the investigation and give out the real facts. And I think, I think the Jersey City Police Department and the FBI. Uh, working together will do just that.
Yeah, and it's one of these amazing things. If you ever you know have any experience working with law enforcement, how this joint task force works together and you know all over the country, it really is amazing. And you hear about the cooperation. Again, tragic situation, but could have been much worse. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel. Newsmax TV is now available for free on your smartphone. Just go to your iPhone or Android store and download the free Newsmax TV app. Then you can watch free TV news with an American spin anytime, anywhere in the world. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.